Today we are starting a one week project to get this garden ready to plant. And here is our tilled potato patch. It's still windy, but it is not windy like it was yesterday. Jim used our little rototiller to completely rototill this patch for our potatoes. All right, this is showing you our soil that we are going to plant potatoes in this week. And Jim has rototilled this. This is light and fluffy, which is exactly what your root crops need. Last year we started using woven weave fabric and this thing is amazing. We put the clips in it to hold it down and it stays there all summer and the weeds do not come. And it was totally amazing how beautiful the soil remained underneath it. Woven weave fabric saved all of our time that we were spending weeding. This is not something that you can buy at Lowe's or Walmart or Dollar General. We buy ours from Grower's Solution. It lets the rain come in and the weeds stay out. The woven weave fabric comes on these large rolls. We have the four foot wide and we just roll them out into the garden and staple them down. To melt the holes into my fabric, I use a handheld butane torch. We also use it at the end of a row to burn a straight line off of our fabric. If you don't do that, the whole thing's going to unravel. So you definitely need to burn it. Woven weave fabric does not last just a year. It'll last many, many years if you take care of it. And one of the things you wanna do is put it away over the winter. Finish laying out all of the fabric. And so starting tomorrow, I can finish melting out the holes and planting the potatoes. Whoo it has taken me four days to get to the point of finally planting my potatoes. Hello, this is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead and we have been working hard on getting our potatoes planted. The first day I showed you all about potatoes, how to cut them, how to care for them. The second day Jim and I came out here and we laid down all our woven weave fabric. And today I'm melting the holes and planting the potatoes. We bought this fabric from Growers Solution and I am not affiliated with them in the least. We just love their products. It blocks the weeds and we do not weed at all. But what we tried last year was planting potatoes using their weed blocker and we were blown away. The potato plants themselves came up through the hole where we planted them and the potatoes reached down and grew in the soil or just under the fabric. I plant my potatoes 15 inches apart in rows that are three feet apart. This gives me 44 plants per row. Okay. 
And that's how you burn the holes. Woven weave fabric is not weed blocker. That is an entire different thing. We tried that for years and the weeds just grew under it. This is far superior. Last year when we put this garden in, we used an auger and Jim would come and he would take his auger and his drill and go into that hole and dig out the dirt. Then I would follow and set the potato in it. I have melted four rows of 44 holes each for a total of 176 potatoes. And so I am now going to plant all of those. These are the red Lesotas. And I'm not gonna film all that. You basically dig a hole, put the potato in, and brush in some of the dirt. It's as simple as that. And I was pushing hard to get them planted because it's going to rain and that is the best combination. To plant your potatoes in the woven weave fabric, what you're gonna do after you burn your hole is to dig a hole and then you're going to put the potato with the sprouts facing upward and you're going to stick it down in that hole and then cover it with dirt. And here is another. I'm going to take the seed potato and push it all the way down into that hole and cover it with dirt. Now to cover it with dirt, I just reach my hand inside and I scoop it out, but I'm going to put a glove on first. This is our fifth day of preparing our potato patch to plant. Uh, the first day we rototilled and then we started laying out the woven weave fabric. The next time we had to burn the holes and now I am finally continuing with planting. Now typically we use an auger and Jim goes in front of me and I simply follow him and plant the potatoes but he is working on fencing so today I did it with a hand shovel. Like I always say, just do something. I could wait until he was available or I could get another 22 potatoes planted, which I did. It takes me about a half hour to do half a row, so an hour a row. And one thing I was gonna say is when these plants start coming up, sometimes they come up over here. They come alongside the hole and this will start to raise a little. When you see that, you reach in and you get the plant going upright. About 11 years ago, I had lost my spouse and Jim had lost his. And we were pretty lonely and we had kids at home and we were trying to figure out what are we going to do. I did not know Jim at that time. And so I started praying for a spouse. And for me, I wanted one that was a widower. I wanted to be able to talk about my, my late husband because he was everything to me. I had been married for 25 years and we had been together for about 30. He was my high school sweetheart. So I prayed for a widower. Jim, on the other hand, prayed for a wife who could work the land. And he looks back at that now and he's like, I just, I don't know why, but that was something that just seemed very important to me that I found someone who could work the land. And so we met and we got married and we got exactly what we had prayed for. I was able to get a widower and he was able to get someone who knew how to work the land. And so that just seems like an amazing thing looking back on it now. And here I am <laughs> working the land because that's what I love to do. And today I am planting potatoes. This fabric blocks the light. The only time that we ended up with some green potatoes was right around the hole. So that if we had the stem coming up here and then we had some potatoes right on the surface that was up by the light, that's where we got a few green ones. So this year, I intend to put some straw around the plants as they come up. 
for me, gardening has always been about healing. Uh, when I first lost my husband, my mom was like, you just need to get outside and work in your garden. And I said, I just, I don't even want to plant a garden. And she said, no, you're, you're, you need to. And so I reluctantly went out there. I was used to him rototilling it. So there I was being dragged through the garden plot by my rototiller. But I started to plant things. And for me, planting is faith. It is faith that if you plant a seed, whether it's a potato or a bean, something very wonderful is going to grow. And so I put that first garden in and I have put one in ever since. And, and now my mom is gone. And so that is also difficult for me. But every time I plant my garden, I think of my mom and how you know you just need to have faith and plant your garden as you can see there's quite a bit of dirt on my fabric itself this will blow away when it gets really windy or you can sweep it off it is very easy to clean and that will clean this whole area up and we won't have any weeds we are just listening to the spring peepers and a couple dogs in the distance not only do I love growing potatoes, I love eating potatoes. One time my late husband made the mistake of telling my grandfather that Deb could eat potatoes three times a day. And my grandpa said, what the blankety blank is wrong with that? And so potatoes have saved many generations throughout the ages. After I finish those four rows, I have another six rows to plant. This was our original garden that we put in. It has a very high fence. The deer do not bother it, probably because it's mostly potatoes. <laughs> That's a nightshade family. And I also have my garlic planted here, which I need to weed. This is my garlic that I planted last year in October. And so it is all up, but I need to continue the woven fabric up to the garlic and then on the other side of it. And then this entire garden will be covered in the fabric to keep the weeds out. And as you can see, we are surrounded by hay fields. So this is a necessity if you're going to grow in this area. Well, this is gonna wrap up a week of working on the potato garden. I have planted 176 potato plants and I still have another six rows to go. So this is gonna take me several weeks but we got a really good start and the weather was perfect. Thank you so much for joining Betsy and myself as we planted potatoes today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. It means the world to us. Thank you so much. We have the best subscribers on this page. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. All right, Betsy, time to go home for some dinner. Whew, what a busy day.